so this is a really great series. Um, it's I See the Sun series. And this is the first one that is set in the United States. The rest are in other countries. And it's by Dee Dee King and illustrated by Judith Inglaze. Um, and she does a sort of a really wonderful collage illustration. And this one, I wasn't sure what to expect because, you know, usually it's about a family in a particular country and it's a day in the life of that family. Um, they have, let's see, what I've, I've read, um, let's see, Mexico, um, Afghanistan, um, some Asian countries. Um, and they're, they're all really good. But this one is a girl f named Stella, and she is from Los Angeles, California. And they are taking a family trip to Mount Rushmore. Um, and so what's different about this book compared to the rest of the series is that it focuses on family trees. And so here you have the family. So yeah, so she has, I just want to, the collage illustrations are realistic photos and I'll also... Sometimes she also has some drawings, like you can see in the faces. I really like her illustration style. And so, um, so they each family shares a family tree, and it has a different tree, and you kind of see the different members of the family and where they're from. And then when they get to Mount Rushmore, um, they she meets other families, and then they they share their family trees. So this is a really good book for anyone who has school projects on family trees, because it really does depict it. And then, so there's three or four families that share their tree. Um, and from like, you know, they're tracing back several generations and from all different parts of the world. Um, and the last one is um, a Lakota Native American family. And, um, and that's when it's really sort of clear, like everybody else came from different parts of the world. But the Native Americans, like they've always been here for thousands and thousands of years. So that's kind of a really nice way to end it. And I like the tie-in to North Dakota, to the Native Americans who live in that area. And then also too, they, she made a good point to say that even though this land um, where the um, Mount Rushmore um, Black Hills, even though the Lakota own this land, they're actually not allowed um, to perform their ceremonies there anymore, which is, I think, a law by the United States, which doesn't really seem fair. But anyway, this is a really great series, and um, I hope you enjoy it as well.